Remember, it's dangerous up there. I know. So you must promise to be careful. I, I promise. Just listen to her, Lucas. She's right. Are you sure you're warm enough, dear? I'm good. <sighs> Ava's pretty. Try not to let that distract you. Uh, seriously, I'll be fine. Mm, well, good luck, my boy. Uh, while you're off on your uh, little expedition, I'll speak with Xander about the Awakenings. See if he and I can't... Uh, <clears throat> cover. Perhaps we can find a pattern to them. They're attacking the village. Knack, you've got to hurry. Worse than we feared. Do you still want to help us? Definitely. Definitely. The two hundred year old robots don't just come back to life. Any energy source would be dead by now. I know it defies logic, but there has got to be a reason. We are both experienced engineers. We can work this out. All I'm asking for is some practical common sense, not this ethereal... You okay? And all I'm asking for is that we remain... Yeah, I'm okay. We have a crisis here. I just can't get those poor people from the village out of my mind. Will you speak with him, Kate? I wish we could figure this out. I am a very reasonable The doctor man. and Charlotte don't seem to be having any luck either. And with the number of robots they've built, you'd think it would make some kind of sense to them. Yeah. But they didn't make these robots. No. That was that goblin, Yurik. Right. Ava, do you know where Yurik actually created these weapons? It was in the high goblin city of Targan. No one knows where that is. There is one person who can find anything, and can give us a lift. Well, those guys could use some cooler heads. Right, deliver it. What? As my favorite uncle. Uh, your only uncle? Sure, mm -hmm. sure, but um. Stop. Whatever it is, I'm in. That's why you're my favorite uncle. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wait for me. This is the closest we could land. We'll have to do the last bit on foot. It's so hot. Why would the High Goblins choose a desert as a place to build their city? It wasn't always a desert. Come on, guys. There it is. The High Goblin City of Targon. It's gonna be tricky getting in. The bridge is out. It's not out. It's just up. I can make this work. I'm not getting up that way. What to do? Ah, got it.
out the lights. Do you think anyone's down there? It's been 200 years. If there is something down there, let's hope it's on our side. Give it all you've got, Nack! You can do this! Looks like we're not going that way. Might be possible. Gonna have to do something about those laser beams, though. Stealth Nack! Awesome! Clear crystal. I like the look, but what can it do? Take it away, Nack. Amazing. <laughs> Why, thank you. But this is more like it. Definitely got that mad scientist feel. Yeah, and well defended, too. Look up, Knack. There's your weak point. Time to find out what's inside. I never get tired of watching him do that. Just a little more. I bet Yurik's fingerprints are all over this place. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> Yurik cleaned out the place pretty good when he left for wherever. Yeah, just bits and scraps. Ah, behold, a map of the High Goblin Empire. Or should I say, half a map. What about you guys? It seems the robots were designed for remote activation and control. It's actually pretty cool. It is cool, but right, here. I'm not surprised. Uh -huh. Lucas, remember when I told you how Marius defeated the Goblin armies? Uh -huh. Well... That victory was short-lived. Humiliated by defeat, Yurik returned to his lab and conceived a new plan. He designed a control center from which to coordinate and command his forces, as well as created weapons so powerful that no human could ever stop them. The largest of these weapons were called the Titans. In the final battle, Marius led the remnants of the human armies against the goblins. The Titans were mighty foes, and it seemed as if this would be the end for the humans. But in fact, Marius was creating a diversion. While he dueled against the Titans, his strike team infiltrated the control center. Marius's hand-picked warriors fought their way past formidable defenses into its very heart. At the height of the battle, mere moments before the last of the human army was to be slaughtered, the strike team disabled the control center, and the ancient weapons froze, never to move again. Without the Titans, the High Goblins were quickly defeated. This time, our founder knew there could be no mercy. Those few goblins that survived were cast into the wilderness, and Marius took his place in history as the greatest of leaders. Wow. Do you? I think someone found the control center and is reactivating the robots from there? 
Maybe. But no one knows where the control center is. Including us. Well, we've run out of clues here. What now? If it's old stuff you want, remember that place in Athenium? Yeah, the museum. We delivered all of the doctor's early prototypes Understood. there. Good idea, Nack. We're on it. That was Xander. He says the goblins have just attacked a human city. Athenium, by any chance? Yes. How did you... We have a theory. It's more of a hypothesis, really. Either way, we should go.